It says, a great many American men are not accustomed to doing monotonous, repetitive work which never issues in any lasting, let alone important achievement. This is why they would rather repair a cabinet than wash dishes. Because right, you repair the cabin and it gets done, dishes have to be done over and over again. If human endeavors are like a pyramid with men's highest achievement at the top, then keeping oneself alive is at the bottom. Men have always had servants, us, women, to take care of this bottom status of life while they have confined their efforts to the rarefied upper regions. Hmm, that sounds like Red Stocking's manifesto, the men at the top. It is thus <coughs> ironic when they ask women, where are your great painters and statesmen, etc., right? Mademoiselle Matisse ran a millinery shop so he, Matisse, could paint. Mrs. Martin Luther King kept his house and raised his babies. So she's trying to say, anybody want to summarize that point? You couldn't do what you do without us. You couldn't do it. Behind every great man, there's a woman doing the laundry. And that made you angry. That's what I got over. Like I said, like, houseware is not something great that men of power that kind of Oh, but don't you think what they're really saying is housework isn't that great of a thing for anyone to accomplish? Yeah. Women doing, it's, it's monotonous. Beds, you make the bed, you sleep in the bed. You make the bed, you sleep in the bed. You do the dishes, you eat, you do the dishes again. You do the dishes, you eat, you do the dishes. Ugh. Right? Boring, repetitive work. Who wants that? But in this document, does she not say, men say over and over again, you can do that. You've got a low boring point. We'll leave that up to you. This is what women, are, this is what women are, enjoy doing. This is what women have done always, yes? Sex and caste. Remember the caste? Hierarchy, again, participatory democracy, everyone needs to be involved, do away with the caste system, the sex-based caste system. 